Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back. More comedy. We got lots of it on the channel. If it's your first time, I don't know why. I don't know where you've been. We got lots of Bill Burr. We got lots of different comedians. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave us a comment. All that good stuff. But Samantha really likes her Bill Burr. I love Bill Burr. I actually just love comedy in general now. Yeah. She uh, wasn't into comedy in the beginning, but we did the ch started doing the channel, started incorporating a little bit of comedy, and now she's in love with it. And Loving it. Part of that journey was Bill Burr early on. We've yes. gotten away from him for a little while, so we're coming back to him with a short little clip here yeah. called Bill Burr is glad Stephen Hawking is dead. Stephen Hawking, a renowned mathematician and yes. cosmologist. Very and, smart guy. Yeah, he started from an early age. Then he got his, um, I think it was like a neurological disease of sorts where yeah, it started paralyzed. to paralyze him. And, uh, and then he was communicating through his hand device and then I think he communicated with his cheek device or something like that wow. later on and he just passed away I think in 2018 so Not this too long ago. must have been released after that yeah. based on the title <laughs> and I wonder where Bill's gonna go with this one but as always Bill is Leave not Bill. afraid to press the boundaries. No, so I'm sure not. he'll find a way to make us laugh about Stephen Hawking being dead. <laughs> R.I.P. though. I mean, he was a pretty smart guy and had some obstacles. Yeah. But let's see what Bill has to say about it and where we're going to go from the comedy side of things. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's go. Of robots. <laughs> yeah. I saw, one get, I saw one get interviewed on 60 Minutes, the top journalistic program in the United States. And he's just sitting there getting interviewed, not nervous at all, just rattling off all the fucking answers, <laughs> you know? Not smoking, not fucking, you know, leaking oil, whatever you would do as, 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 as a nervous robot, right? And, and the reporter's asking him questions, and in the end he goes, so tell us, he's like, uh, he's like what are your goals? And I am alone in a hotel room. And I literally lean towards the TV. I'm like, these fucking things have goals? <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the fucking robot just answers. He just goes, uh, to be, uh, he goes, what are your goals? And the robot goes, uh, to become smarter than human beings. <laughs> yeah. And the reporter just blows by it. He's like, okay, and uh, <laughs> what's your favorite color? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm standing on my bed yelling at the TV like, dude, unplug that fucking thing! Take the batteries out! Pour the wa pull the wires out! Do something! How many sci-fi movies do you have to see before you realize where this is going? Right, like... Well, so anyways, every smart... What would you be expecting otherwise? You know what I'm saying? Like, the way that sounds, to be smarter than human beings. I know. Whenever yeah. I think of like AI and robots taking over, I think of the music, the movie Electric Dreams. I don't know if you ever saw that, no. but it's this movie that my dad made me watch because my dad's like a big tech guy. And it's about the first like AI robot. It's this, like giant computer and it like literally goes crazy. So here's the difference between Sam and I. She thinks of what? Sorry. What was the name? Electric Dreams. Electric Dreams. <laughs> I think of Terminator. <laughs> I, that's where my brain immediately goes Fair. to. And I can have the visualization of the entire world exploding <laughs> in Terminator. But, okay, well, the computer in Electric Dreams got pretty wild too. All so. right, well, I'm just saying, most people I think are going to say Terminator. They're probably going to, you guys can let us know in those comments. But, um, you know, it's ironic though, because we are seeing the uh, extrapolation of AI moving at such an expansion, yes. exponential rate yes. more recently. And, you know, he's talking about robots taking over the world, which is very <laughs> relevant today in 2023. Space bar. Do something! How many sci-fi movies do you have to see before you realize where this is going? <laughs> Terminator. So anyways, every smart person, every super smart person in the world is saying these fucking things are going to kill us. Even your boy here, the guy who he recently died. What was his name? He was, uh, he was always sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> Hawkins, Stephen Hawkins, yeah. Too good to fucking stand up and make his point just sitting down all fucking smarmy. <laughs> oh, I care so much. I poured ice on myself. Um... And I showed off my abs at the same time for the gram. No, I'm just fucking with you. I'm so glad that guy's fucking dead, though. You know? <laughs> Look at you guys. Your heart. How much longer do you want him to suffer? You don't believe in an afterlife? Maybe he's up there now. He's, his fucking <laughs> legs work. He's getting an angelic blowjob. How much longer do you want him to fucking sit there? 
so you could feel better about yourself. Well, at least I'm not all fucking twisted up saying smart shit, right? I couldn't fucking stand that guy. <laughs> he was so fucking negative. He never had anything positive to say. Hey, Steve, what do you got for us today? In 2035, there'll be no more apples. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Wasn't thinking about that. Now I am. Hey, so what's the solution? It's too late. We needed to try 40 years ago. Thanks a lot, buddy. I'm going to go cry with my child now. Dude, I in his defense, in Stephen Hawking's defense, I would say that uh, he's experienced a little bit of hardship. Might have a different outlook on life yeah. than the average Maybe person. Maybe that's why he's a little bit more negative. Yeah. I would, I would say, you know, that is probably going to change your, your perspective on glass half full, glass yes, half empty. I would agree with that. <laughs> Clearly, Bill doesn't see it that way. He's a fun-loving guy. <laughs> Hey, so what's the solution? It's too late. We needed to try 40 years ago. Thanks a lot, buddy. I'm going to go cry with my child now. Dude, I can hang with that, out with that guy for about three minutes before I took the break off his chair and just zoomed him oh into the other room. God, Bill. <laughs> hey, Steve, come back in when you got something dumb and positive to say. Savage. No holds barred from this, Bill. Yeah, seriously, he's a savage. Yeah, I mean, you know, that obviously one, he's just like trying that one to push the boundaries. But... Yeah, you know, he's trying to, you know, you know, poke the bear, so to speak. But yeah, um, I, I don't know. I thought it was going to go in a different direction with it. I thought when we were we were going with the initially talking about AI and all this kind of stuff, I was going to be. I thought it was going to be like, well, Stephen Hawking said this, and I hate him for that. You yeah, know? but he didn't yeah, really yeah. go in that direction. He was just, he just, you know brought it in there at the end tied it in yeah well, sometimes it trips me out with some of these because it's like the title will just be like based around one small yes, snippet of their entire yeah. kind of bit so you never really know what you're gonna get anyways that was bill burr and he's glad stephen hawking is dead <laughs> recommend some other bill burr in those comments for us guys because it's been a little while since we've gotten to a, yeah. a longer bit or you know need some new stuff yeah some of them get blocked on youtube some of them don't um, hopefully this one doesn't, hopefully it's up on the channel very soon. And, uh, we got lots of other comedy as well. Lots of other comedians. Yeah. You can always be on the lookout for a couple of videos a week for comedy. Yeah. I wonder if he has any like holiday related ones, like anything coming up around like Halloween or Christmas. I don't think Bill's going to put you in the, in the holiday spirit, Samantha. <laughs> I think he might make me laugh about it though. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Bill, it's hard not to laugh at what Bill does. So yeah. let us know guys, hit those comments and, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We will see you on our next video. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.